There's Cousin Ed playing with the brand new 303. I was thinking.
car is still wet. Really? Yeah, I got to mow today before I leave. I'm going down, man. It's tired. Right, right. doesn't come with a radio but it has everything for it yeah you just pop one in i don't need a radio what do i need a radio for you know what i have a radio and everything i own i never listen to it ever yeah it's uh i mean i gotta communicate with people on the ground all the time so right and if i want to listen to a radio i have my head my bluetooth yeah. headphones yeah so yeah i mean uh, i always you know get it loaded and then i i never end up using there's a few times that I like if I'm backfilling a long trench I'm by myself. But most of the time I'm you know, I gotta communicate with Ray or Brandon on the ground. So. Yeah, but even if you're backfilling that long one, I mean you're thinking about what you're doing, you can't be listening yeah. about what you're right. listening to. Yeah. You know, and Yeah. Plus it's just it's just an option. It's like this one's an add-on, you actually have to ask for the radio, but for all the yeah. other ones But it's it's ready have, to go. You know? I don't care. Yeah. I wouldn't need it. The only thing I'd ever maybe want to put in is if I you put in a CB. It would work with those that yeah. way but i mean this is small enough that you're working right on yeah. top of it you're yeah. top of people so yeah. nice and quiet though yeah i do like that it actually, you know when you go to if you ever want to put a hammer or anything any other connection you got to turn these off so your thumb yeah that's, that's what, what that tool's for yeah i was wondering so you turn those tool. valves off before you plug into this because if you plug into this it's going to be two-way you'll drop it it'll drop oh it'll it'll pull all the i thought it was just a t yeah, well, believe it or not, if you don't turn these off before you plug into here, it'll fall it, down. It, this will fall. Yeah, and then you got to hit the two-way function well, over here. Well, if you're running a hoe pack, you leave it the way it is. If you're running a hammer, then you turn it. Now, 306, it would drain so quick it'd make your head spin. Sending updates. Yeah. 
And then uh, the other thing I just had a problem with was this little tab. Okay, yours is right there. Mine, there was a little plastic tab, but it was back underneath here. Yeah. On the E2. That tab fell off. It was only maybe a, not even a sixteenth thick where it fell off. And then it wouldn't depress. Because this right here, like if you if you duct tape this up, you could run this machine with this up. Because that's your safety right there. Right. So mine, it would like run all glitchy. You know what I mean? Because it, it wasn't depressed all the way. Would you glue a piece of something? Yeah, I'd put to... PVC glue and include it back in. You probably have uh, glow plugs on this too, I would imagine. Uh, I don't know. It's got a plug in. Well, I'm, what I'm saying is, when you go to turn this on, turn the key before you uh, before you fire it and look for a light. A lot of times there's a glow plug. Yeah, they sure did you well. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And they probably did it when they put the thumb on. I never checked it. So right now, it's not recommended to even run it like that. And why it's yellow oil, I don't know, because all mine are red. It says W10W. So I, yeah, I asked them what oil it took. I don't have my phone on me. I was like, hey, what oil? Because I'm low on oil. It's Cat10W. Yeah whatever it says so yeah, I, went... I, would, I mean usually what happens is a mechanic puts a thumb on obviously it takes oil you know what i mean yeah and then they never top it off but that's how this machine's supposed to be checked and it's obviously low because i did that yesterday and i was like oh, okay that's low it's supposed yeah. to be between the two lines yeah but i mean every machine has a different position some of them you sit like that to check it this one yeah and obviously that's where most of your oil is back in your reservoir, reservoir. because all your pistons are up yeah almost yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah i'm gonna rinse this thing off and then i'm gonna put it in the garage okay i was looking for a car wash on the way down and uh, then it'll be in the garage until you come get it end of the month yep. this thing here always had problems with these doors coming open so make sure when you shut that I've been locking it. Yeah. I've even had all my dad's trailer in it. I'll get to the job and this is open. You know what I mean? So always make sure to give it a good tug. I'm glad I you talked me into getting an extra oh, count of weight. Oh, man, I'm telling you. For the three inches that it hangs over or whatever. Not even. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely working. Definitely. Yeah, I do like it, man. I can't wait to get mine. Yeah. I'd be using it now. I, I could after getting that Tesla job done, I um I definitely could be using it because I got ATT site builds back to back and all, all the tight tight stuff. Uh, it wasn't so much tight, just so far to go and then I can't carry my cargo. You know? Oh because the weight.